Well, hello everybody, my name is Ray, and um, <clears throat> this is just going to be a small, very, very short episode. Um, nothing in particular, I'm just going to give some information and some news regarding the games I'm going to play, videos you can expect, and some other things. Um, as some people might have seen, is that the last, this weekend, or last weekend, depending on when you watch it, uh, there was not been a stream. And the reason was is that I didn't feel like streaming. Very simple, cut dry. I didn't feel like I wanted to stream. And that has to do with my mood. And the reason for that is that, um, for a lot of people might come as a surprise knowing how happy and stuff I can be in a video. Um, I kind of suffer from a big fucking depression. It hasn't really been like diagnosed by a doctor because I refuse to go to a doctor for that kind of shit. Um, but yeah, it's as simple as that. I just don't feel happy most of the time crap and um it's affecting a lot of things also i'm very stressed out because of work times uh changing every single week being like a week night shift then a week evening then a week in the morning then a week in the night shift again and so on and that's been going on for like almost five uh, five years now so it's starting to affect me a little bit. I'm getting stressed out. I'm getting pissed off over tiny things. And in the process, I tend to say things that I don't mean to people or stuff like that, um, which I also recently did, which um, made me feel incredibly bad about it. So for that person, if you're if she's watching I'm sorry for what I said. Um, further on that note is that next week or this week, again, depends on when you're watching, I'll be streaming two times, which instead of like this in this video, I said this, uh, there's no stream. Uh, I'll make up for it by doing two streams the next time which is we're going to finish Uncharted 2 and because the Saturday that I'm going to finish Uncharted 2 um, that Friday before it, the day before that stream uh, if everything goes fine I should be getting Shadow of Tomb Raider in my, po in my, bo in my uh, the p post box thingy I hear something inside. I'm not going in there. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I should be getting Shadow of Tomb Raider, which I really want to get. And that means that Saturday we're going to finish up the Uncharted 2 game. And I don't care how long it's going to take me. I'm going to finish it on Saturday, even if it takes me like six hours to do so. I don't give a shit. And then Sunday, Literally the day after that we're going to start streaming Shadow of Tomb Raider. Now here is a little bit of news regarding my channel on how I was going to plan to do things and how things turned out. Kind of. Um, I wanted to start streaming the 2013 version of Tomb Raider. Which is the definitive edition on the PS4. But... Um, also because I wanted to do the Rise of Tomb Raider streaming, but I wanted to play Rise of Tomb, or Tomb Raider first myself. So I kind of knew what the game was about. I didn't want to go blind in that game. So I'm playing it if I got time and if I'm in the mood for it. Um, but the thing here is that I'm not going to stream both games. I'm going to make separate videos on them for maybe an hour long videos. Probably. That's just as always an hour long videos. 
and I'll just post them whenever I want to. And that's how it's basically going for the entire time. Since I made this YouTube channel practically. Thing is, is that uh, I wanted to stream both games before um, Shadow of Tomb Raider, but I f kinda forgot to think about the fact that Shadow of Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider and Rise of Tomb Raider are very big games. And Uncharted games are also pretty big and I don't want to interrupt my Uncharted streaming and for to, to just give it up and do something else like that the game is like 10 10 hours long or so and that I'm playing only four hours and then the next week I play Tomb Raider for the entirety and then forget about Uncharted. I want to start a stream to stream a game and then from from start to finish and then I go on to the next one so I'm going to finish Uncharted 2 and then I'm going to start Shadow of Tomb Raider because if I'm going to start and finish Tomb Raider and Rise of Tomb Raider first it'll be at least two to three months by the time I get to Shadow of Tomb Raider which I really don't want to because I've been waiting for this game for quite a while and I really want to play it so it would be a st even stupid for myself to just not play the game that I bought for like 60 euros and have been waiting for and then not play it until I finish two other games that would be the stupid so I'm just gonna play them in, the, in my free time make videos of them and then post it and then uh, well you get to just enjoy the stream of Shadow of Tomb Raider and if you do want to know about the other games because you've never seen them before the videos will be coming as well. Don't worry about that. And the thing is, is that I just don't have the time to do all these things in one weekend or just two weekends. I just didn't have the time or I was not in the mood. Because uh, one of the stupid things about having a depression is that sometimes you just, you just don't want... Uh, it's gonna be hard to say because sometimes you just don't feel like you want to live and things are so bored and so stupid uh, things are going going mayhem in your mind and things have also been affecting for me lately and it's been pretty hard on my on my mind and what I mean with that is that like I just don't see I don't seem to enjoy the things that I want to do um, there are a lot of things I want to do I've tried to do and I just can't seem to even start them or finish them and I just abandon it such as things that I used to draw um, 3d modeling which I got stuck on and just really frustrating I barely have the time for it I'm super stressed even a simple apology um, drawing that I wanted to make for someone is I did start it and it took, it's a week later I haven't finished it yet because I just didn't feel like m making it even though I really want to make it. it's just stupid excuse probably for some people but I just don't seem to enjoy anything anymore and of course YouTube and playing games is a hobby of mine which I still enjoy for now at least but I just want to keep that going I just want to have at least something I can enjoy and uh, that's why I'm going to change things up a little bit when it comes to the videos and the streams and stuff because I just simply don't have the time to do all these streams and I just don't want to wait because by the time I am finished with Tomb Raider and Rise of Tomb Raider, when, if I stream them every week, um, I'll be finished by the time Spyro gets out. And I want to start and finish uh, Shadow of Tomb Raider by the time that Spyro comes out. Because 
Um, that's going to be a game that I'm going to be smiling and nerding out on about for pretty much the entire time. You can bet your ass that when I play, uh, when I'm going to play Spyro in November, those, those streams will be very happy, probably, and will pro I hope at least will be a moment for me that I can forget about my depression and my hate to live, so to speak. Um, I'm, don't worry too much about me or anything, in case you were. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'll stay here, where I should be. I've never actually seen those four before. That's nice. Um, anyway, that's a bit of the news that I wanted to share. Uh, things more about me personally. But also about what my idea is to go with the channel. Because ob obviously I do not do this for the money. Because you need 10,000 subscribers or more to even get ad revenue. So that's off the table. Anyway, um, I'll just do this as a hobby. Because I just need something that I can enjoy. And that's also the thing. I don't even do this for you guys. Or girls or whatever abomination you're in between I don't care what you are basically I am NOT doing this for you in any case maybe partly because some of you seem to enjoy the videos that I make no oh, okay that's a nice bonus but the main uh, the main objective for these videos is that I can get some rest I can mentally just enjoy myself and you know just do something that keeps me busy and I love that you guys enjoy the videos or enjoy the streams is just a bonus you know um, regarding also another thing I want to ask my subs my sub Subscribers? I, I'm not really comfortable calling you subscribers. You're people just like me. Let's just say I'm going to ask my cold following here. <laughs> that um, uh, somewhere in January I heard was going to be Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2 the HD remake. Do you want me to play it, yes or no? It's that simple, because I have been thinking on buying it, but I'm not sh The fuck? And I was not sure if I wanted to buy it or not, um, because this is, this is the main reason why. I fucking hate Resident Evil games, because of two reasons. The first reason <clears throat> is I played Resident Evil 6 and it was a nice game, but it was not a horror game by any stretch. The only horror part was the Leon Kennedy campaign, which was also pretty short. And it was pretty much ridiculous and stupid because at the end where you were practically fighting a mutated bone fleshy t-rex kind of monster with an eyeball in his mouth I don't fucking know it was just ridiculous Russian Evil just became such a ridiculous dumb franchise that I just don't bother anymore but other than Resident Evil 6 I put my controller down, that's why I don't move. Ugh, getting a cold, I guess. Anyway, um, other than that, I did not only play Resident Evil 6 in my lifetime, which I kinda regret, to be very honest. I also played back on the PlayStation 1, like at least 10 years ago, 10, 12 years ago. Resident Evil 1, which was called back then on the PlayStation 1, Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Now, 
this is the one game that made me scared of zombies. Now, obviously, I play, I play Resident Evil 6. I play Minecraft, which I, actually you don't have to be afraid of this. Except for that sound. That sound is just fucking horrible. Please stop that. That's just a horrible sound. Um, but also, it's just it just made me afraid of zombies. Resident Evil Deadly Silence or Resident Evil One has been one of those one of the two games that made me have nightmares. And now that I've seen how Resident Evil 2, the HD remake, is going to be looking, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to give me nightmares. So I kind of am in a struggle, in a mental struggle here. Like, do I want to play it? Do I not want to play it? Do I want to buy it? Do I not want to buy it? That's the whole idea. So instead of just bullshitting myself about the whole issue I want to ask you guys if you want me to, if you want to see me play it yes or no obviously it I can say it's my money I decide if I buy the game yes or not I also want you guys to be more involved in it um, if I want to play it and you people want me to play it too then I'm going to play it for sure. If I don't want to play it, but you want me to play it, I'll be debating a little bit more if I'm going to buy it, and maybe I'll buy it just to see how it is, or just to please you all. <laughs> or if I don't want to play it, and you people don't want to see me play it, I'm not going to play it, obviously. So... That's the thing. That's the compromise. Now the compromise mostly also depends on if you want to see me play it and I don't want to play it. Um, I might try it to for I try might try to force myself to play it because obviously I kind of want to open up a little bit more to certain games. For example, the Resident Evil games, mainly because I hate the franchise so much, because it sucks. It's just a bad franchise. But since that Resident Evil 7 came out, they have been more consistent about, hey, maybe we should stick to what we were and not going with ridiculous mutant stuff and shit like that, you know? Maybe they'll go back to the original footage on the, the original footing on the horror genre and since Resident Evil 1 scared the living shit out of me I never actually made it past the second zombie because <laughs> I was just too scared I remember playing it and and uh, the PlayStation and the TV were against the wall on my on my parents bedroom and I was sitting with the controller be on the other side of the room behind the bed of my parents just playing it from a dis at least two meters distance which is like six feet six and a half feet distance with my face under the blankets because I just didn't want to see the zombies that was that those things terrify they terrified me um, I kind of want to have that feeling again to have this with the zombies in Resident Evil 2 to be like an absolute nightmare to look at um, just being like no I don't want to play anymore um, but also if you guys do not want to see me play this game and I do want to play the game then you guys have to suck it up it's that simple it's my YouTube channel I get to decide what's gonna play so there's that but also yeah i might consider buying it i am not so sure yet um but yeah my my call is 50 50 and i'm going to put a poll on my google plus maybe next weekend when i'm going to stream uncharted 2 uh, to finish the game i'm going to put up a, a poll on my google plus if you want me to the to, to play
Resident Evil 2 HD Remake. Simple as that. And if it gets more than 50% yes answers, then I'm gonna buy it. It's that simple. I'm gonna buy it, and I'm gonna try to play it. If I end do, if I do end up having nightmares, actually, <laughs> uh, first of all, you you people get to blame for 50 percent. You're the you're to blame for at least 50 percent of the nightmares. And uh, other than that, you get to other than the fact that you get to feel bad for giving me nightmares and be part of it. Um, <laughs> I have to suck it up as well. I'm not going to quit playing just like that. Um, unlike games such as The Evil Within 2, I kind of want to go back to it and make new videos of it or at least continue where I stopped. Same as Call of Duty World War 2 and the zombie mode. I want to make a few videos of it. Not too much. Maybe Battlefield 1, I'm not so sure. I'm not too f much into the shooters anymore. At least not these two. They kind of suck. But I do. I did enjoy the one zombie mode map that was available. There are probably more, but I'm not willing to pay 5 to 10 dollars or euros for a single map. So that's that. Um, the Evil Within 2, I might want to return to just to, just to play to the end to see how it goes. Um, the reason why I stopped playing it, the first thing is because I never finished the first game. Because it scared the shit out of me with Laura. Uh, Laura is literally a representation in the game of something that I absolutely hate and had a traumatic event about. If you're wondering why that is, is that my traumatic experience was with The Grudge. If you don't know that movie, watch it. The Grudge 1 and 2. The third movie is shit. Um, but 1 and 2, they're the absolute worst. In case of how good the movies scare you. Because the, the first movie was when I was about 10, 11 years old, and it left me scarred for life. Having several events that reminded me of these movies, which scared the living shit out of me, and literally sometimes prevent me from doing things, such as The Evil Within 2, where Laura is in there, she looks a little like the Grudge, and her having four arms and being all bloodied and shit and screaming is really not helping. And, uh, well, that's the reason why I stopped playing, because the first time I had to encounter her, it scared the living hell out of me. And the second time I had to encounter her, I was like, you know what, this is, this is getting old now, this is... I don't want to do this. I'm going to quit. And I never played the game ever again. I kind of want to try at least to finish it, but I probably will just chicken out. And the same, well, not the same thing happened with The Evil Within 2, because with The Evil Within 2, it's more open world. And I was thinking, this kind of is boring. I was legit bored of the game. Uh, not because it's not good, it could be a good game if you went into it, but the first game was linear and it dumped you from shithole to shithole to another shithole and it just, in the moment that you were out of the shithole, it was going to get you ready to get into another shithole. Uh, the Evil Within 2, it's more like you're in a shithole, but the shithole is spread out so much that the shithole you're in is not extreme it's very thin layered and there are a few scares here and there and that's about it most of the game is probably going to be pretty tame and boring and stealth play you know and that's something i kind of don't want to see in a, in a horror game i want to see scares the very rare times that I actually get myself to courage, the bravery to actually buy and play a horror game, 
I expect a horror game to make me quit. Quit in fear. Something like I did with Cry of Fear, something I did with Resident Evil 1, something I did with The Evil Within 1. Those are three horror games that I played and never finished because it's, it was just too scary for me at the time. And I want to have that experience. I want to literally be saying like, I don't want to play it anymore because it's too scary for me. And you can say, oh, you're a pussy or you're a baby or just suck it up and grow up. You're a man and everyone's different. Some people can handle it. Some people cannot. And I cannot handle horror games. So if I buy a horror game, I want it to scare the shit out of me and leaving me with nightmares and the fault that I don't want to play the game anymore. It's that simple. And if the game fails to do that, hashtag the evil with it too, it's not a good horror game. And, um, but I do want to give it a chance because I haven't really played a lot and I heard that things are gonna get better laid down the road, but you have to kind of suck it up and, you know, encourage yourself to go on because it's just kind of boring. It's not even that scary, it's, except for a few parts. But yeah, uh, a large part of it also is the fact that I want to enjoy it, which uh, is really hard for me to do due to my depression. And it's just, I tend to just be very negative about things and uh, well first of all I very much apologize for being such a negative jerk if I come over like one I didn't I don't mean to you always kind of have to take it with a grain of salt you are not me you don't experience the things the way I do and you don't think like me. So obviously if I'm being salty about something, I have my reasons for it. Um, but also it's more like, like that my depression act and my stress acting up and it's just really not fun anymore <laughs> at some points. Then I'm just sitting on the couch thinking of like, do I want to go on yes or no? But um, yeah, I'm too much of a coward to do anything to myself. I mean, if I, I, if I bleed more than five drops of blood, I'm starting to sweat. I'm like, fuck, 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 I need to patch this up. As, it's that simple. I don't like pain. I'm very sensitive. I don't like pain. So obviously I'm not planning despite my depression and sometimes suicidal thoughts I'm not planning to do any suicide at all don't worry about that because I just simply don't like the pain and I'm not even going to try that because I know it's gonna hurt like a shithole which I don't want to try at all <laughs> that out of the way um, you can expect the upcoming weeks streams again and if I don't feel up to it if I don't feel like streaming I will put a notice down on Google Plus that I don't want to stream that weekend other than that I will stream every weekend starting with finishing up Uncharted 2 and then going for Shadow of Tomb Raider on Sunday and then from every Saturday on. If I really feel like it, probably, I'll stream on Sunday too. You know, two days in a row. I don't mind. I have got nothing to do in the weekend anyway. Unless I do have something to do in the weekend, of course. But that's a whole other story. Um, and then, other than that, well, we'll just continue Shadow, for Shadow of Tomb Raider until Spyro comes out and then we're going to play all the three games of Spyro and it's gonna be a very good time for me for sure I hope you will have a good time as well then because I'm going to nerd out and compare it to the pre to the original and just 
be fucking baby face happiness. Youpty fuck a fuck. <laughs> Youpty fucking do, you know? Um, not forced or anything. I legitimately love Spyro. And if you don't, if you think I'm just joking about it, Spyro is the whole fucking reason that I love dragons. So the fact that my channel is called Cherry Dragon is not a coincidence. It's because I like dragons a lot. And Spyro is the very reason why I love dragons. And maybe or maybe not is, the in, is a huge part the reason on why I have this channel called Cherry Dragon. It's also actually the reason that my Google Plus page is called Cherry Dragon because I had a cool picture of a cherry dra of a dragon with a cherry, which is the profile picture. But also because I love dragons, and obviously dragons are cool. What's not cool about big liz flying lizards breathing fire and destroying shit, guarding treasure? You know. But also, as I, as I said before, Spyro is the reason I love dragons. So, in a way, Spyro is one of the reasons that I have this channel. And having an HD remake of it is going to be fucking fantastic. So, now you guys know about a little bit about me and a little bit about my thoughts and what's going on in my life. As well as what's going on with the channel and what I'm going to be planning. If things are a little confusing or if you have any questions, don't be afraid to contact me on Google Plus, Cherry Dragon, or here on the channel in the video on the comment section. I will just try to answer things more clearly. I'll try to answer your questions. And if you have any critics or anything that you want to see being improved, try contact me as well cherry dragon is practically the channel name as well as my google plus page um well i do have a twitter i barely use it but i'm not going to give that one because that's a private one so suck it up <laughs> so ladies gentlemen boys girls any abomination in between that was the video and I hope things are clear now but if they're not just ask you know just let me know what needs to be clarified I'll try to be more open about it if I do not feel comfortable about saying something I simply don't respond it's that simple what the fuck is going on with my camera oh well I'll have to cut this episode here anyway I need to take a shower going to bed and prepare for the fucking morning shift. <sighs> That's going to be annoying, Bard. Waking up at 5 a.m. I'm more of a night person. <laughs> See you guys later. I really need to finish that tower, though.